first thing is that it's very important to be positive. Half the time what happens is, please doctor, our patient is not a good body. Our diagnosis is not a good body. They'll come outside and say, uh, send the patient outside and come and tell, doctor, don't tell me anything. I'll be like, why? Why should you not know anything? Then after they would say like, you know, tension to hold everyone. Full series are going to hold everyone. They will not be able to tolerate. So I'll be like, okay, fine, take a chill pill. If I don't tell the diagnosis in a language that he understands or if I don't tell him about his problem, he is not going to trust you, neither is he going to trust me. And when you don't trust your doctor, the therapies generally don't work because the patient is continuously living with fear. He's continuously thinking that, oh, all of these people are hiding something from me. So it's very important. First point is that you communicate effectively to the patient. You tell them in a language that they can understand. You don't need to tell them the whole molecular aspect of the cancer. You just tell them that there is, you know, the day, good day, day. If you don't want to use the word cancer, it's okay. But you say there is a tumor that needs some chemotherapy. So therefore, they will understand. They'll know that they also don't want to talk about it. We also don't want to tell them too much about it. Second point is, they'd be like, uh, oh, will my patient be able to tolerate this chemotherapy? Why should I trouble him so much? So the second tip is that you need to go to a doctor who's going to be able to convince you, who's going to be able to do a comprehensive geriatric assessment. What is a CG or comprehensive geriatric assessment? I've spoken about it in my previous videos as well, where we talk about how a patient is to be checked by different departments like palynology, cardiology, endocrinology, neurology, orthopedics. All of them optimize it and then afterwards then the patient comes to us and aram say we give the therapy to the patient, the patient is able to tolerate it well. So go to a doctor who is going to be able to do all of this and so don't go to your place where it's just for low cost someone does. If you need root blood, you will get only that much amount of results. There is no point blaming the chemotherapy then. This is important. So second point is go to your oncologist who is able to do a complete geriatric ass assessment for a patient. Then the journey is very smooth. Well, the third point is uh, uh, make the patient comfortable at home with all of you all going to him. If he has grandchildren or she, he or she has grandchildren, make the children play. Very, very essential. If, they ha if you have a dog or a pet at home, let the patient be with the pet. And this is extremely therapeutic. Cancer is like a rabbit dog. Keep it away. Don't keep it in the center of your house. Don't make it lie on your bed. Feed it daily so that it doesn't come and lick you. Neither does it come and bite you. This is the only thought process that you have to have. Don't make it the center of your life. Life is to be enjoyed. You all should carry on with your normal work. You all should just take care of your uh, patient as well at the same time. And it's proper work-life balance that you need to maintain. To maintain. You should not let go of your night's sleep. And you should not let go of your job. Thank you. Good day.